Hi everyone, my name is Andrea Estes and I am the Information Coordinator for the Public Events and Family Programs Department at the Children's Museum of Indianapolis. And this is my son Theo. And we decided we would engineer a new way to get a ping pong ball across the net. What did we make? Catapults. Catapults. Do you want to see if you can try that catapult and see if you can get it across the net? Yes. Great. Okay, that one worked here. Let me try this one. We made another one, right? Yes. Ooh, this one's really it's well much, done. It's much harder to fling. Oh, uh, it, it, just, it just goes far. It doesn't go like high. It doesn't go as far. Yeah, yeah, this one went high. That one would have launched goes, a little bit Yeah, further. that one would launch a little bit further without this. So let's come over here. We have one more catapult we would like to show you. And this one we're going to make with some skewers. We need seven of them. A ping pong ball. And some marshmallows. That'll be fun. A plastic spoon and a rubber band. Okay, do you remember how we do this, Theo? Yes. We need to take two. All right, so we'll get the tape going. So we have to take our three skewers. Let's take three marshmallows. Three marshmallows. Oh, I think we're going to need some more. Here, let's start with these. Okay. Okay, remember how we can poke the skewers into the marshmallows? I'll get the bottom started and then you can help me make the top. They said okay. it kind of like the shape of a pyramid. Yeah, Is that but right? I know this doesn't look like a pyramid. Not yet, right? So there's those triangle. three. And then we need another marshmallow. And take our other three. Poke. Poke. You stop saying poke. Okay, you don't want me to say poke. What would you say when you squish a skewer into a marshmallow? Nothing, I guess. Okay. We need to concentrate, don't we? So now we have a pyramid shape. Yeah, then you want to take this rubber band. Uh, and put it around, I guess. That's what the instructions say. That's exactly right. And then we take the last skewer and take our spoon. And this is going to be one minute, one second, because it's going to take a little bit, because they said secure it really well with tape. Yeah, we need to make sure that we get a really good hold of the spoon, because do you remember what the spoon is going to hopefully do? Bring the marshmallow into your hands. Yeah. Maybe even catch it with your with your mouth. I don't think that's gonna work because it kind of does spling far. Yeah. We already tested this, but so you know what I mean. I guess it's, I guess I'm gonna catch it. For engineering, <laughs> if something doesn't work, you just keep changing it and trying some things to see if you can fix it so that it does what you want. Okay, are we ready? Theo, yeah, where would you like to stand? Well, Let I would me... like to. Well, since I can't see it over there, but it doesn't shoot as far, well, so. Here. I think I'll stand you stand right there. All right, everyone. Let me see if I can get this catapult to launch a marshmallow in your in your hands or in your mouth. Okay. I think it's gonna go into my hands. Okay. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, almost, <laughs> almost, Theo. We almost caught it. Okay. I hope that everybody else tries this at home. We'll try a couple more times and see if we can get a marshmallow to land in your hands. You can chomp on it, right? Yeah. <laughs> everybody, thank you for joining us. I can't wait to see what you use to make catapults. We used Lego bricks and some marshmallows and skewers. And you and can use like maybe wood. You could use wood, rubber bands, tape. But thank Paper, you for joining paint. us. And we hope you have fun time engineering something fun for your house. Bye and everyone. Us, and also, I guess, Watch a video so you know. Okay, say goodbye, Theo. Bye. <laughs>